Hi. You have a boy in here? Yeah, I went out on a date. Well, you didn't really go out, but well, he went out on a date and I just continued staying in, but on a date. I stayed in on a date. Oh my God, tell me everything. It was good, it was really good. I, I just told him I'm an expert chef and I wanted to cook him dinner in my home. So he thought that was normal. Yeah. Um, he brought wine. Wow, that sounds romantic. It was. And he's really funny and he's just got these sexy time eyes. Wow, he sounds pretty perfect. Yeah. Wait. What was that? It's nothing. Okay, okay, well, um, okay. He did have this funny, it was actually really endearing, um, little quirk. Like, every time he, um, would have a sip of his wine, he had to blow his nose. Hmm, that's, uh, why'd he do that? Well, he has this, this, um, chronic sinus infection. Oh, that's too bad. How long has he had that for? <sighs> Pretty much since he was like five. It's actually really horrible. His mom, well they used to live in this really old house and she would take asbestos from the walls and like stuff it up his nose, um, like cotton balls, because he got nosebleeds a lot. I mean, they were really poor and she just didn't know. Nosebleeds. Well, he doesn't have a nose. It might not work out. He should have a nose. Yeah, I guess. How's he smell stuff? Wait a second. Our mailman doesn't have a nose. <laughs> Did you go out on a date? Stay in on a date. Stay in on a date with our mailman? He does have a name, you know. Whatever his name is. It's Jim. I'm sure he's a nice person, but you don't need to go out on a date with the only male that you ever see on a regular basis. How does he smell stuff though? Just because you're so settled indoors doesn't mean that you have to settle. Yeah. So? You're afraid to go outside. So what? That doesn't mean that your future husband can't have a fucking nose. And I say that with the utmost respect to noseless people. It looks like Voldemort, huh? Yeah, I, I could date someone with a nose. You could date someone with all of the body parts or none. It doesn't matter. The point is that you have the choice. Yes, you deserve the choice. And, and you don't have to date the only person that you see on a regular basis. Yeah, because I could date someone I see on an irregular basis. Or you could date someone that you haven't even met yet. Yep. And once we have met though, ho, oh, then we could see each other regularly or irregularly, depending on how much we like each other. Yeah, that's like what dating is. I know. Tuesday. Thursday, Saturday. Our days of the week. What I was going to say are the days that you might see him one week and then they could be different days the next. Mm -hmm. Exactly where I was headed with my first thought as well. Cause I do know what dating is. Don't you forget it. I know the ins and outs. When life gives you lemons, you put that in your pipe and take it to the bank. And if you, when you walk the walk, you talk it too. When a, a watch pot always calls the kettle black. Also, the next time that you go on a date, you shouldn't play Christmas music. Mm. Tis the season. It's March. Yep. Tis the season, March is in spring. Christmas carols are my jam, year round. Maybe we really should keep Jim's number. Oh, we'll see him tomorrow when he brings the mail.